one of the ornate stones that we have to carve on the restoration of this uh, beautiful cathedral. This is a floral boss at the termination of a hood mould. Um, it's, as you can see, there's a great big chunk that's just fallen away. It's full of cracks, um, it's just ready to fall apart. Um, so yeah, this is one of the many stones that we have to carve. We carve that by hand um, out of a solid block of stone um, using mallet and chisels for all the, the decorative work. Do you do it on site or do you take it away? Uh, most, of, most of the stonework here we will shape in our workshop, in our stonemason's yard. A few of the stones we'll be shaping on site, um, just to show the people how much work is involved in, in restoration. Ron, we've got more ornate work here. Yeah, yeah, in more stones you can see full of fractures and cracks. Um, where, where the stone is, it's pretty well on its way out. So we pretty much have to draw a line at anything that's, uh, that's not going to last uh, about 100 years. So we want our work to last you know, about a century or so. Um, you know, the original building, it's taken 150 years to get this, to this point of deterioration. We're using a better quality stone, so we're expecting it to last a lot longer. The stone that we're going to be using for the restoration will probably be coming from Donnybrook, which is in Western Australia, south of Perth. The stone from Donnybrook very closely matches the colour and consistency of the original stone used in this cathedral, but it is a stronger, more durable stone. Uh, it's also um, fairly inexpensive compared to the stone we can, we can buy in New South Wales. The original quarry, of course, where this came from 150 years ago, no longer exists. Um, even if we could get that quarry up and running, we wouldn't because the stone hasn't stood the test of time. Ron, is this one being repaired or are you going to replace it? Yeah, this is going to be repaired. It, it's got some horizontal cracking up the top that we can repair, but the majority of it's in good order. Another really important reason why we want to keep these types of stones is there is thought that these uh, more decorative elements in the uh, architecture were actually designed by the original architect, Edward Gell. So, uh, yeah, it's just more important historically to, to try and maintain as much as we can.